This is our presentation about the Carolina Twins, Nonya Christine McCoy by Victoria Madison, Eric, and Sabina. So a little about Millie and Christine. Millie and Christine were twins and they were conjoined at birth. They were born with separate arms and legs, but conjoined at the hip and pelvis. They were also born into slavery. So that means they were born to enslaved parents. Their names were Jacob and Manemia McCoy. And Millie and Christine were sold for about $1,000 at about 10 months by their slave master at the time. Um, a little timeline without giving away too much detail. The McCoy twins were born in 1851. Millie and Christine were born to their parents in Whiteville, North Carolina. In 1854, they moved away. They, the twins were kidnapped and sold overseas to someone in England. In 1858, they were able to return to their original owner, the Smith, Mr. Smith, and he tracked them down in England and managed to retrieve them back home, which we go into some more detail about on the next slide. And then in 1862, following the Civil War, the twins and slaver died, so they were able to um, perform globally for the next couple of decades. So the kidnapping and the return of the twins really quickly. The kidnapping, um, the twins were working road shows for Joseph Smith as they were deemed abnormal looking in society. Someone from one of the places that they went to go do shows at um, kidnapped them and took them to England when they were about three years old. But Joseph Smith, like I mentioned earlier, was able to find the girls and he went with their mother, Monemia, to regain custody of them. And the, twin, the twins were reunited with their family and the Smiths where they were able to gain skills that they used while they were being exhibited. During the time of their tour, the Civil War was taking place. And the main disagreements uh, that led to the Civil War was between the states and the federal rights, as well as the election of Abraham Lincoln. And as a result of this war, um, Abraham Lincoln passed the Emancipation Proclamation, as well as Congress passed the Borough of Relief for uh, Freedmen and Refugees, as well as uh, they also passed the 13th Amendment, which officially um, made slavery illegal in the United States. The Carolina Twins participated in multiple circuses all over the U.S. as well as Europe for about 20 years. They were African Americans with physical deformities and they were put on display as part of side shows. The Carolina Twins were part of the U.S. shows in North Carolina, New Orleans, Philadelphia, New York, D.C., Virginia, Maryland, and New England. In Europe, they were part of the shows in England, Scotland, Austria, Russia, France, and Germany. So a few of our reasons as to why you should read this narrative is one, because of the history. It serves as a reminder of our history and our ancestors. This narrative is also rare, the film being conjoined twins that were also African-American at this time in history. They also were conjoined at the pelvis, while other conjoined twins were either conjoined at the chest or the abdomen. The narrative was also candid as you got to experienced raw emotion um, since it was the from the actual perspective of one of the twins and you don't really get to see that uh, point of view too many times. Narrative is also very compact because it's a very short read but holds a lot of information about the twins life and during the that time period as well we get a lot of information about that period as well so thank you for listening to our presentation and here are our sources for our pictures as well.